We're ready for the fourth section of the course. This section will cover macroeconomics, and it's gonna be a little bit of a change of pace from what we've been doing. So up until now, we've mostly been focused on topics in microeconomics. Microeconomics is the study of individual behavior or outcomes in individual markets. So we're really starting from the perspective of a consumer or a firm, thinking about the decision-making process, and then analyzing how that will affect outcomes for society within a market. In macroeconomics, we're gonna take a more top-down view. Here we wanna think about how all the markets function across society to aggregate to something we call the economy. And macroeconomics is really studying what's going on across all markets in our economy. Can we measure what's going on in those markets across all markets? Can, we, um, can the government do anything to help markets function better? Uh, why do we have recessions? Why do we have expansions? What could we do to promote long-term economic growth or to avoid a recession? Um, or perhaps in this case, to lessen the effects of a recession. So those are all questions that we're gonna be tackling in the macroeconomics section, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that this section is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be more conceptual there will be more kind of concepts and definitions and understanding the way that different systems work and how all of that comes together um, to influence what's going on in the economy. So in this section, we're gonna break it down into just three topics. Those topics will be longer than um, what you're used to. So we'll do just one topic per week for the next three weeks. The first topic will cover measures of macroeconomic activity. So how do we measure what's going on in the economy? We'll go over several different ways to measure the economy and what they mean, how they're calculated so that you can understand when you see them in the news what we're talking about. The next section is going to cover money and banking, which is really kind of a catch-all for understanding our whole monetary and financial systems to give you a background for the third topic in macroeconomics to be the last topic in the class, which will help you understand uh, how economists think about long-term economic growth and also how we deal with short-term business cycle fluctuations. So we'll go through a model that explains or tries to explain um, why short-term economic fluctuations might occur, and then we'll talk at the very end about government policy to address those fluctuations. Now, all of this is really relevant to what's going on in the world right now. So I will try, as we go through the topics, to relate what we're talking about back to news that you might be seeing about um, the coronavirus, the shutdown, um, how that affects the economy. What does that mean for everyone's life, lives? Are we gonna have a recession? Are we in a recession? Um, what about the unemployment numbers? Um, and what we might expect to see the government do and what we are seeing the government do to respond in this crisis. All right, great. I'm looking forward to finishing strong. Um, here's to the last section.